Bam guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, Monday 23rd of January, taking a little bit of time in the evening now to make a short video, TA video about Bitcoin, because Bitcoin is still moving very bullish. I had a long beach day with the family, so I didn't have time this morning, but I'm doing my video now. So let's quickly jump into some charts to show you some amazing stuff that I discovered on two charts that um, I have never shown before. So um, we'll take like five to eight minutes. Let's quickly jump into them. First chart is over bam here. Now this chart, of course, you know, this is the four hour chart. Um, if you want to trade these charts and please trade on Bybit, use the referral link down below the video. Uh, it will give you $30 for just signing up and up to 30,000 US dollar for depositing some Bitcoins in bonus that you're able to use for trading. So that's free trading a shitload of uh, dollars over there, guys. Now, um, this four hour chart is showing you very simple, the Bam Bam indicator. And the Bam Bam indicator, um, again, um, there is a short flag over here now in the top that short flag said okay we should be going down yes the market cooled off we are still down below the yellow stepping line the yellow stepping line is pretty flat so we could still see this pullback to the bottom of this bollinger band around 20,000 21,000 what is it 10,300 uh, exactly where the volume is because there's a small gap over there as you can see in the volume so we could pull back to that before we uh, continue this immense run that we have seen in bitcoin i think it's a very unique run because we closed the candle 16 days in a row higher every day again and again and again and that has never happened in the bitcoin history guys so really simple now um, these indicators if you want to um, uh, know more about them go to the bitcoinfamily.com uh, this is our website on this website you will find all the information uh, in the top uh, menu you will see uh, products and if you click on products you will get a collapse menu with all the kinds of products that we have so just uh, check all the information there and then decide if you want to get access to the bam bam indicator bam over here guys and um, now zooming out a little bit to the day chart this day chart is a very interesting chart and and why do i say very interesting because on this day chart guys we, we can see the green and that red line and that green and the red line that's the 50 day moving average and the 200 day moving average. The green is the 50, the red is the 200. Every time when the green will cross the red line to the top, that is what we do, and that is what we call a golden cross. So that golden cross that could be happening somewhere over here. When is this? If we look at the cross at the moment, that's all the 6th of February if the lines would continue like this these dotted extensions are the extensions that i drew so yes if we continue the way we are now moving and then we could have a golden cross in that moment and a golden cross to be very clear is something that happens a few times before in bitcoin and every time when that golden cross happens look for example over here that is the moment the green crosses the red line bull run every time the green crossing the red line bull run every time as far as we go back in history guys the green crossing that red line bull run so yes that is a very important cross that, I, that we are um, nearing uh, but it all depends on how the bitcoin price is developing in the next couple of days guys of course because like i said it's now almost 16 days all these green candles here 16 days closing higher than each other and then we took one or two days pause here these two days we're lower closes and now bam we're going again on higher closes every day so yes 24,000 is a resistance area um, and if we break that then to be very honest there is not that much volume not, not that much volume left um, look there's a huge gap all the way up to 28k uh, even 30k guys so if we would be able to really break um, the level that we are breaking now then this area over here that this is a very simple area to move into with the bitcoin price and then i think it would be going very rapidly to that 30k level uh, which of course would be an amazing run now um do we have more chats yes we have this one of course the gaussian channel we have been talking about this one many times oh the yellow lines are still on the chart like i drew them some uh, weeks or months ago already and um, that was like i said okay it will probably follow this yellow line and then come up and the price will probably break into that gaussian channel somewhere over there now, now, I was completely wrong with that one because we are breaking into that Gaussian channel over here now. So it took in total 59 bars, 295 days um, to 
break out of the Gaussian channel and now break in it again. And if you look in the past, it was 51 bars. And that was 2019. And over here, it was 70 bars. So we are on an average of those two movements with uh, 59 bars breaking into this. The moment we break into the Gaussian channel is a very positive and important moment. Why? You can see here what happens after. The red will turn into green and then we will start to move above it again. And that is the bull run. This red will also somewhere turn into green and we will be able to move above it and then again that's the bull run. Could be going really fast but I'm not cheering too uh, joyfully yet because I still think um, there's a huge area of resistance in the middle of the Gaussian channel and also the resistance that I already showed in the chat before. So um, let's keep a clear head and just be very happy with the profits that we are making now already. Now the weekly, uh, weekly showing something very bullish as well. We know that dollar trend line that I drew uh, already on that one for a long time ago. We can see that we are breaking that. The last week candle closed above that line, which is very bullish. Uh, and now the next one is closing, uh, is opening above it. If this next candle is closing next week, like in six days and nine hours above this white line, um, I think that is really bullish, guys. That, is, that means that we are um, turning around that downtrend into an uptrend where we will be creating higher highs again. So these are our lower highs. If we zoom out, you can see better. So lower high, lower high, lower high. But if we can a, create a new higher high and then a higher low and again a higher high, then that is the moment we can definitely say now there's bear trend is over and we are moving into a bull trend. Really interesting times uh, ahead of us, but uh, really beautiful to see that we are trying to go to that 200 weekly moving average that is now around 25k. That we that would be amazing if we would be able to break that one of us. Now, I'm um, talking too much again, so let's quickly jump in two more charts that I want to share with you. Bam, over here. Um, this is the first one. Very interesting chart. Um, and why is this a very interesting chart? I put my face over there, just in between all the text. Yes, beautiful. If you look at this chart, guys, you can see exactly how we moved from the 21st of January 2013 to the 21st of 2014. And then we had a bearish year here in 2015. And then again, three bullish years and again, a bearish year over here. So we can see that there is 2015 was bearish, then we have 2019 was kind of bearish, and now 2023, again four years later, also kind of bearish. We are lower um, than the previous year. But that doesn't matter because after these yellowish lines, there come three orange lines of the bull market. So 2024 will be higher on the 21st of January. 2025 will be even higher on the 21st of January. That is how the market has been moving. And this is just showing you how we could be moving in the future as well. Now, bam, this one is the last chart, guys. This one is showing you something really cool as well. And um, this one is showing you that people finally start to understand that they should be holding Bitcoin in their non-custodial, for example, hardware wallets. Why? We can see in the first epoch, a lot of people were adding Bitcoins to the balance on the exchanges. In epoch two, this is like 2012 and upwards, a lot of people were adding Bitcoins daily to exchanges. Over 768 Bitcoins were added to an exchange every day. And then we had 1,400 Bitcoins added to an exchange every day. This is from 2016 to the third halving. And now, this fourth epoch, we can see that 775 Bitcoins are leaving the exchanges. So we don't add our Bitcoins and huddle our Bitcoins on these exchanges anymore. We are taking them away from the exchanges. And that is very, very, very positive, guys, because if we look at this, this is just amazing. People start to understand that they should hold all their Bitcoins in non-custodial cold wallets where they have full control. And if you want to trade them, connect them to Apex Dex, for example, a decentralized exchange where you can trade with leverage and all that stuff. The links are down below the video if you want to trade. But people are beginning to understand they should move the Bitcoins from decentralized exchanges into non-custodial cold wallets and, and hold them there for a long time till they think about taking some profits and when they want to take some profits then you move them to exchanges or you do an OTC deal even that is possible without an exchange guy. now that was everything for today hopefully uh, hopefully you really enjoyed this video if you enjoyed the video guys give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about all these people moving their bitcoins from the exchanges thanks for watching see you tomorrow again